Our very own Molly Oak is standing by with us with another witness. What do you have, Molly? Yeah, Ron, I just spoke with another witness. He says he saw the shooter. He tells me it was right behind us, close to where you see Wells Fargo Bank, which is actually on this side of the street, Cody, the same side that we're on. He said he saw someone talking with a woman. He said that this person was angry, and then all of a sudden he saw this man pull out a gun, and then he said he heard two shots, and that's when he says he ran and hit. He said he did not hear other shots after that, but he says at that point he had booked it down the street to go into hiding. Now, he is one of the dozens of people that is standing out here at Peachtree Street Northeast and John Portman Boulevard. That is where the main crime scene is. That's where we have seen dozens of officers. But again, as I've told you all before, there are blocks of this road marked off. Actually, a police officer is pulling crime scene tape in this area as we speak. Again, John Portman Boulevard and Peachtree Street Northeast. We're hoping to get an update from police soon. The last update that we got was about 20 to 30 minutes ago at this point when they did confirm that four people were shot in this area that did say that all four of the victims are alert, conscious and breathing. We talked with a witness about 10 or 15 minutes ago. She was telling me that she was in the area. She had just been where the shooting happened minutes beforehand. She said she and her crew were getting coffee. They were walking down the street near the CVS again on Peachtree Street Northeast. She says that's when people just started running and rushing out saying there's a shooting, there's a shooting, get down. That's when she says that they went into the Hyatt and took cover there. They said that Hyatt, along with multiple other businesses, went on lockdown for at least an hour. And then she said that's when they started letting everyone out. So a lot of the majority of the people who are out here are either people who are commuters trying to figure out what's going on or people who were in the area put on lockdown and now are waiting to be able to get cleared. And as you can see, a mass of people now moving along the sidewalk as police seem to be opening up things here on Peachtree Street Northeast and John Portman Boulevard. But I can't express enough the dozens and dozens of not only police officers, but also the Atlanta Fire Department, EMS, and also GBI on scene. I'm just watching someone from the sheriff's office as well who appeared to have come and lended a hand in this investigation. Police are actively watching as we're going to walk with you and see if we can give you a better sight closer to the crime scene. We are walking along Peachtree Street Northeast and again now just crossing through John Portman Boulevard. We are hoping to get an update from police as we set up. It looks like we may be getting something here soon. This is the media staging area. And again, if we look across the street, this is where folks say it happened, right down those escalators. That's where the first witness was telling us she had been earlier and was then passing by at this CVS when she saw people running out saying, there's a shooting, get down, get down, take cover, run. And that's when they ran across into the Hyatt to take cover, where again, she said they were on lockdown for about an hour. Again, still dozens of police, SWAT, fire department, EMS. My photographer Cody Dallas telling me Grady was on scene earlier. We also saw the GBI out here and Fulton County Sheriff's Office lending a hand as well as this investigation continues. Again, before I toss it back to you guys, one more thing that we want to remind the viewers. Four people shot here at Peachtree Street Northeast and John Portman Boulevard is where the crime scene is. Again, APD telling us four people shot, but also confirming to us that all four victims are alert, conscious, and breathing. Sending it back to you guys until we get more updates out here in the field. Molly Oak with that latest update.